Hey guys, alrighty, so this is going to be a different video. This is a kind of like arts and crafts. Um, I don't know if I said this before, but I love doing arts and crafts. Love it. Um, I just love like making things and painting things and all that kind of stuff. That's why I like having my nieces and nephews around because this past weekend for my graduation when they were here, um, my niece found my box of popsicle sticks and um, she just wanted to do something. I was like, hey, let's do it. I want to paint. <laughs> uh, so we made little um, houses out of popsicle sticks. Um, I'll insert a picture at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, anywho, um, this arts and crafts little thing is uh, it's for my mine and my boyfriend's four year anniversary, which is on Sunday, the 12th of June. And this year, I kind of, I always make him something. Um, for our anniversary, uh, for our first year anniversary, I made him a big card. I'll take a picture of that too, or I'll probably show it a little later. Um, I made like a huge card of all of our pictures, and then I wrote some poems for him, and that. And then the second year, um, what did I make him? I don't remember, but I make him something every year. And this year, I decided um, I want to make him oh. picture frames. These are wooden picture frames. I bought them at Michael's. They're a dollar. Uh, it's, it's wood, it's plain, um, I already actually painted them white, and, um, I got each of these for a dollar, and I thought it was, like, really cheap, you know, I can do this, and then just add a picture and make it my own, you know? So, um, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys the steps I take to do all these little arts things. Um, I do already have a bunch of stuff, so, uh, for me, this was kind of cheap, all I had to do was buy, um, the picture frames, which is two dollars, and then go print out my pictures, which is, like, like 20 cents each so it's not even that expensive but for people like you might not have all these um supplies already but it's pretty cheap either way so um what you're gonna you would need you're gonna need brushes uh different size brushes i like i said i already had all this stuff with me so i had different size brushes um this one's wet because i painted this white um you're gonna need paint obviously i have my white paints i have all my color paints which, um, if you watch my um, nail tutorials, um, I actually use these as well on my nails. So I have a lot of different color paint, like a bunch of guys. Like I have a whole bag full. Um, what else are you gonna need? Little um, accent stuff. Stuff. They have these little wooden things. This is a heart. It's made out of wood, and you can pretty much paint it, and then you can glue it onto it. You know, like give it that not 3D, but like you know, like the little. Oh my God, that looks so cool. And then they have these. This one was. 29 cents that says love and it's already pre-painted and this one was 25 cents because it was pre-painted uh, I liked how it looked and it just gives it a little it's a piece of wood as well so you just need little accents I'm probably gonna get more than this so this video will probably be like steps throughout the week <laughs> but yeah um that's all you're gonna need pretty much that's all I think and then the pictures obviously and um, pretty much all you'll need uh, pretty much your your station will be I'm on the floor of my living room um, and you'll just need a lot of newspaper to put down so that you don't stain your carpet or get a mess you know I use a um, magazine um, paper also I rip it off and then that's where I put my paint <laughs> uh, so yeah just lay a bunch of newspaper down and yeah I painted it white so that all my colors pop um, it, it's it's really good to do that um, put a white uh, coat first and then put the color if you're gonna put a lot of colors that way the the colors actually pop out and they're they're, they're like true color um, so yeah I painted them all white already if you can tell I don't know if you can tell but they're all white and now I'm gonna start painting them so um, I will show you guys all right so what I'm gonna use is this one right here this is in the color Laguna from um, Apple Barrel that's the brand and I'm going to color just like the edges of the He's frame like doing the edges first because um, obviously you're gonna you're gonna do well I do I do a lot of like little things on my um, I like the front of it so um, yeah always do the edges I always like doing the edges that's just me though and um, there we go all the edges are done and you guys don't think I'm like perfect because um yeah <laughs> I was holding my brush the wrong way and I got it there but we can always go back and fix it so now um, I like putting two coats of every color I do 
So, um, just pretty much let it dry. And then we'll be back. Let it dry, then put two coat or another coat, and then let that one dry, and then we'll be back. Okay, bye. Or wait, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, so now that it's dry, nice and dry, two coats of paint, so it's nice and blue. Now I'm going to paint the actual frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the actual frame, like the actual the front of the frame. I'm going to paint it green. This is, again, um, Apple Barrel in Spring Green. And it's that green right there. So actually a really light lime, uh, darkish green. So I'm going to do that. Paint it two coats again and then let it dry. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so while that dries, I already did the second coat, so I'm just waiting for that one to dry. I actually decided to put our names are going to go, um, his name and then my name in purple. So, what I'm doing is I'm actually cut, cutting them out. Uh, I did, you can pretty much print these out on, uh, your computer. But I, my printer ran out of ink and then my computer's having a whole issue. I don't know what the hell's going on. So what I did is I just put the font onto my Word document and I made it as big as it would go if I would print it out to put it on the frame. Um, and just traced it onto these index cards. So you guys can see that. I already cut out the P and the A. Um, his name is Panch and then mine's name's Lucy, obviously. So, um, I'm cutting them out. Uh, so yeah, that's the cutout right there. And what I think I'm going to do is I might actually trace it. Uh, trace it onto there and I'll show you guys how I did that. But right now, like I said, I'm cutting them out. I use this razor blade. It's a craft, um, razor blade thing. It's by X Acto. Um, it's just a blade. Uh, so yeah, I just cut them out. I'm using this, um... Uh, I don't even know what this is. It's just a piece of um, metal that my boyfriend has here. He uses for his um, um, model cars to cut the stuff. I like to burn the things. This is just a piece of metal he has. Uh, so I'm using that to cut it. So I just um, tr cut it out like that. I'm going to do each letter and then I'll show you guys how I do it on the frame. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with the letters. Um, here's that. I didn't cut out that C because this C looks way better. So it's two C's. There's a C missing for my name, in other words. <laughs> so I cut them out. I don't know if I'm going to use the cutouts or just use the um, actual cut out right there. So, um, yeah. let's. Get so started. first, I like placing them on there just to see how it would look. Obviously, the other C will be right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pencil them in. I actually literally pencil them in. <laughs> so um, I'll probably use these. To do it and then for the A and the P as it has a hole in the middle um, I'll probably use those to do the hole so I'll be right um, back after I started I noticed that these um, were way easier to use than just the letter so um, if you do do it like I did um, cut out pretty much a stencil for yourself and like you saw for the letters that have like these cutouts just use the letter It'll be fine. So you do that. And I did. It was way easier to use these. So there we go. Um, now we're just going to paint them. Okay, so now we're going to color in all the letters. It got pretty dark, so I had to turn on my light. <laughs> so for that, I'm going to use Americana, Americana's um, acrylic paint in uh, lavender, which is a purple. So for, obviously for this, you will use a smaller brush. And just pretty much all you're doing. If you want, you can do like one letter, one color, one letter, the other color, you know, alternate colors. But I'm just going to do one whole color. Alrighty, so there we go. Um, uh, one thing I forgot to say is do paint over. Or if you're going to outline, you don't need to. But if you're not going to outline, do paint over the pencil linings that you did on the outline of each one. So, um... I, I did decide to paint an outline on this, and what I'm going to do is, my, my favorite color is green, and my boyfriend's favorite color is blue. Since the um, outline of the frame is this blue right here, um, I believe I am going to do the outline in that blue. So, 
Now to do the outline, you pretty much use a extremely thin brush. Let me go grab it. Real quick. We're going to use an extremely thin brush. This is actually one of my nail art brushes. And just do the outline. Outline all the letters. And um, since this is going to be the final thing for this, um, I mean the final thing for the names, you got to be precise because you don't want to have to go over. If you do mess up, you can always go back and do the green or whatever main color you put Let's in the go. back. Yay. I think I need something like here. Here. No, it's fine like that. I think this is very pretty. Yay. Hey guys, already. So this is going to be the second frame as you guys can see it here. Um I painted it white and then I painted it yellow. Um I wanted it to be really bright because this is going to say happy fourth Happy four year anniversary. I don't know yet what it's gonna, how I'm gonna put it, but it's gonna say that. So I painted it yellow. I'm, I still got one more coat. There's a um, stenciling. I, I th think it would have looked a little better if I were to move happy more this way, but I mean, it's fine right there. I don't care. It's okay. So there it is. Now I'm gonna paint it. Um, I decided I'm going to do, oh, the yellow I used. I don't know if I said this. Um, here's the yellows from Apple Barrel, um, bright yellow. And then the orange for the border is from Americana um, acrylic paints in bright orange. And then the letters and the whatever all this is going to be um, this color, Americana in, sorry you guys, um, I believe it's Bahama Blue. Yep, Bahama Blue. And then I'm going to do the outline. I'm not sure yet. I think I am though. Um, I'm going to do the outline in Apple Barrel um, Spring Green. So those are the colors I'm using right now. I'm just going to fill everything in with this and I'll be back. There we go. I stenciled it in. Um, one thing I forgot to say is I made the orange border. Um, the border of the frame is orange. There we go. Um, I didn't film all of this. I'm sorry. Uh, I just pretty much added um, glue to the four and then glitter it up. The same thing I did with the heart and these right here. And then for that... Um, I don't know if you guys could see it in um, when I showed it to you guys when I was doing this one. Um, it used to be like pink and red and stuff. All I did is painted it white and then I painted it green. The same green I used for the outline and the same green I believe that's used for this. I could be wrong. Um, and then at first I outlined it with the blue that I'm using. But it didn't come out how I liked it so then I just outlined it with purple. So that's that. That's glued on already. If you guys can see the glue, it dries. As I told you guys, what was it, yes, on this video that I told you the glue dries clear. It's dried. And then what I decided to do, because I, le I left it like this and I was like, it looks too plain. So what I did, I just outlined the heart in orange and um, yeah. I'll show you guys at the end um, what it looks like with the pictures and everything. Okay.